Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is Tuesday night. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Yes, indeed, we are live and in effect. We've got a lot of good folks joining us already here at the 6 o'clock hour. Indeed. All right. Very good. Yes, indeed. we got that Jamie. We've got Donald in New Mexico. A close second. Eric is here. Welcome, everybody. All right. Let's see here. Now, apparently, this thing um, doesn't tell me exactly when I'm live, strangely enough. It's a little bit of a delay there. But anyway, it's Aloha Stacker. It's here. Hello, Aloha. Good to see you. Good evening to everybody. All right. Let's get into the motions here, into the groove of this live stream. We do a comment review usually during the weekdays that we're on, which is Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. And we're going to continue in that fashion here just for gits and shiggles. All right. Very good. So we've got this comment here on the 2020 Women's Suffrage Silver Coin and Metal Set, the commemorative coin program that I was eh, kind of not really terribly excited for, but I got to keep it up for the collection. And Frey says, love the set, important history there. Love the fact that there are three nines fine, but I don't know if I can fork over $120 for it. Yes, very pricey for sure. No question about that. Very, very pricey indeed. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else talking? I wonder if my chat is screwed up. Nobody else saying anything. Okay, God Sees All is here. Good to see you. It's got time watching the last video. Thanks, God Sees All. Appreciate you, sir. Good to see you. All right, Silversmith is here. True to Roots. Yes. Honor to have God Sees All here. Uh, Stacking Points is here. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. And Voodoo Scratch is here. All right, welcome. And good morning to uh, Four Nines Fine Silver. All right, uh, Kamal Sali says, follow my channel. I will follow yours. That's a negatory ghost writer. Spam. But we're going to put that on there to let him know that we are responding. Never, ever do that. Idiot. These guys. Yeah. These spammers out there. Crazy, crazy. Never, ever. Trevor H. I vote them a hit. Okay, Trevor H. is a fan. That's cool. All right. There's Natman's here. Hello, Natman. Golden Kangaroo is here. Hello, Silverholic is here. Good to see you. All right. Got a little slurp of some coffee here. We got Medio Man here. Jamie Fox, Dale Val is here. Good to see you. All right, and we've got uh, Native Stackers here. Hello, Native and Rocky is here. Native Stacker and Rocky, both great guys. Got to work early because of heavy wildfire smoke in California. Jay is in California. Hang in there, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah, those wildfires. There's really no excuse for those wildfires out there, by the way, in California. Uh, the problem with the wildfires is there's two problems. And the biggest problem is the environmentalists are preventing uh, a common sense wildfire uh, forest management, which is controlled burns and the like. Um, because when it's dry, you've got to do controlled burns to prevent adding fuel to the fire. And then what they do is they build right up to the forest line, and that causes the... Um, you know, houses to be in danger when people are building right up to the forest line and they're not allowed to uh, to do controlled burns or do effective wild uh, management of the forest. It's really unfortunate, very sad out there in California um, that they have to put up with this every year, mainly because of groups like the Sierra Club, which is abysmal. All right, good to see you guys. And Barbara's here. Hello, Barbara. Good to see you. America Silver Patriot is here. Good to see you. Slurping Coke Zero in honor Sal. All right, Silverholic. Very good. And Joey from Seattle was here. Good to see you. And Dove Season is here. Hello, Dove Season. All right. All right. Gold Chick is here. Good company. We got a good company here today. Hugh Man says, looks better than that dude on the front of the Platinum Eagles. Yeah. I know. People are kind of critical of that. I guess I've grown used to that design. It's a front-facing portrait. And I think it is a relatively accurate representation of the Statue of Liberty. 
Freedom Stacker is here with a 99 cent super chat, the first super chat of the evening. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, indeed. Brian Jones says wildfires are extremely necessary. Environmentalists see them and think they're unhealthy. Yet, they're, yeah, that's right, Brian Jones. Actions make it worse. That's exactly right. If you do control burns, that will actually help the, the health of the of the forest. You're exactly right. All right. Uh, let's see here. September the 1st, I think that might be when there's some deliveries. I'm not keep up. Some people tell me there's Silverholic mentioned uh, in a comment about, I think I'm going to come up to it. I'm glad Silverholic's here because I don't know exactly where you track that stuff. But the deliveries of the silver or fake silver into the market. I don't know where you'd find the information on that, but I'd be very interested to see where that is. Paul Rourke says, does your buffalo have a gray mark on the buffalo base? Mine does in almost exact spot, fake or real gold. Um, I don't know. It could just be a mark on it, uh, or it could be something that perhaps by some random chance, we got it on the same dye. You know, perhaps it's some of the dye here. I'm not sure. Uh, C-Mex is here. Hello, C-Mex. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. All right. Ah, very good. And Kuna Coin says, this one got me. This one got my me. Thanks for, got my, this one got by me. Thanks for showing sale. No problem, Kuna Coins. Yep, I've got to buy all these commemoratives each year. All right. All right, there's a channel that tracks this stuff. Okay, so Rolic, very good. Uh, where are the 2020 Libertas? That's what we'd all like to know. I would love to to uh, get uh, those 2020 Libertas. Definitely. Hello, Silver Stanger. Good to see you. See, Max, did you see my comment? Uh, hopefully, we'll get on to it here soon. Um, if it was posted within the last five hours, I've not seen it yet. Donald in New Mexico picked up the proof and uncirculated dollars that did not get the metal. I wish they had used different levels of frosting on the proof obverse. I agree. I haven't bought any metals since the, the uh, Teddy Roosevelt Wildlife Centennial Mills, which I have all of those. The woman you think looks like an ugly old man probably thinks you look like an ugly old woman. That's probably right. Probably right. Let's see what the scammer thinks here. Hello? From the Department of Social Security Administration. Ah. The reason you have received this phone call from our department with this is to one. inform you that we just suspend your social security number because we found some suspicious activity. So if you want to know about this case, just press one. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's going on with this case. Fabian T is here. Hello, Fabian. Hello. Social Security Administration. How may I help you? Yes, sir. I got this message about there's some trouble with my social security uh, number. What's going on? I'm very scared. May I have a name, please, sir, so that I can grab your file and provide you the information about the call? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is Charles Schumer. Can I please spell your last name, sir? S-C-H-U-M-E-R. S-U-H-M-A-R? Yeah, that's right. Can you please hold in for a second, sir? I need to search for your file. Okay, thank you. I'm going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Okay, so thank you for holding the line. Sure. So, according to your file, a case has been registered under your name for some illegal and fraudulent activities. Oh, no. I it's didn't do anything for wrong. investigation and to verify but I didn't... whether I'm talking to the right person or not. Can you confirm your social security number? Yes. It's, uh, it is a 296 76 can you repeat that again, sir? 276-46-5679. Can you 
number that I gave him, sir? 246 76 5679. So, what's going on with the Social Security number, sir? Thank you. What's it about the Social Security number issued, sir? What's this trouble you're talking about? In what state was the social security number issued? What? In what state was the social security number issued, sir? It was issued in the state of Louisiana, sir. It's where I have my coffee business, and he's son of a motherless goat. Hung up on me. That's right, I should have said 8675309. That's right. Oh, man. Anyways. I'm in Montgomery Burns, second one after the FDR. No jail for me. My reservation is at Getmo. That's right. I can't get Mo satisfaction. No, no, no. All right, where are we at? Back to the front. Emerald LX, I wouldn't be surprised if the Mint makes a Black Lives Matter coin. What's Annabelle doing on that coin? Yeah. Well, it would have to actually take an act of Congress for them to do that, but you never know these days. Dude looks like a lady, says Emerald. Yes, kind of does on that coin. All right, very good. Let's see here. Talk like Carl. Yes, indeed. Well, one of, if we call somebody again, we've got Sharon we've been trying to get a cold of, but she's not, um, she's not um, answered. Hey, CCT is here, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. And we have enough people here. I did want to, um, he says, hello, scammers, one and all. I want to make a, a sad announcement, you guys. Um, we've had a bit of tragedy or, you know, some things that this community has really stepped up for uh, recently to do some, some bad news in the community. Well, a member of the community who has been kind of out of touch with YouTube for a while, but he's on Instagram, um, is a guy named Silver Shareholder. And probably most of you don't, don't know who he is. Um, but uh, this is his Instagram page. Um, his He was a guy that posted quite a while ago, and he um, unfortunately lost his wife this past Sunday. Passed away, only 32 years old. And um, so he is uh, looking to raise some money, but he is a, a member of the community. Like I said, I don't really post stuff like this very often. And, uh, but I wanted to make the community aware for those of you who either may have remembered him or uh, just um, are interested in helping a fellow member of the community who is going through a hard time. Uh, the, everything is pretty much on that, um, on that link there that talks about it. And um, this guy's on Instagram. So probably you Instagrammers are probably more familiar with him. He hasn't really been on YouTube a whole lot uh, for a while, but uh, very sad to hear he lost his wife. I uh, just can't imagine somebody so young pass, passing away. So for those of you who are interested, there's that link there. But uh, anyways, but so just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, uh, again, don't mean to be a Debbie Downer on this live stream, but um, wanted to do that favor for him. Um, but yes, so there that is. This is a great community for sure. But anyways, all right, let's see here. All right, where are we at? Let's get back to the comments here. On this set, Emerald says, Tip typical victimhood agenda. They could have a woman empowerment series, but nope. Go woke, go broke. Yeah, and that is the, the fear. Is, uh, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with honoring the right to vote um, for women for that amendment, uh, the 19th Amendment. But uh, typically there is sort of a political agenda behind a lot of this stuff, it seems like. And that's kind of where it can get dicey. Uh Roger, Sal remains a modern commemorative proof completist no matter the damage to his financial bottom line. That's right. That really is true. Most of the coins that I bought from this series have lost money, save for the uh, uh, precious metals content that may have risen. But anyways, all right. Very good. Mark B., when, uh, when you think things couldn't get any worse, Hurricane Laura is headed to Houston. Yes, yes. Our prayers for the people of Houston and along the Gulf Coast. Uh, let's see here, but yes, indeed, you can be a Debbie, but not a Karen, that's right, Joey, that's right, uh, let's see here, but anyways, but yeah, very good, yes, prayers for the people for these, uh, 
storms coming through, Hurricane Laura. There was a Marco as well. Uh, Will Powell calls the running of the bulls tomorrow? Good question, Miles Miles. As so we're waiting to see, I think the announcement comes on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. God Sees All says, you don't seem too thrilled about this one. Post it for a high price and get some better pieces. Yeah, well, i kind of got to get it for my collection. It's like the Eunice Shriver coin. That's probably one of the ugliest coins in my collection. I think I posted a video about it a while ago. But i got to get it, got to keep it. But anyways, all right. Silver Heist, uh, U.S. Mint surcharges to go to elect Kamala Fund. That's right. Exactly right, Silver Heist. Uh, what is the next piece of equipment? New Target, and let's not count on Donald in New Mexico. Um, yes, there will be another piece of equipment that's going to not cost nearly as much. Um, that uh, we'll, I'm looking to get, possibly. But, you know, I don't want you guys to think that... Um, you have to donate just for that or, or whatever, whatever reason. But I will, if you do Super Chat, I'll, I'll keep that money aside for it as well, too. Um, and I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it yet uh, to see what this is. Um, but um, um, that will probably be something in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something like that, just depending on what kind I get. Um, but I still need to do some research on it. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, very good. Let's see what Donald does on that one. Maybe he'll front the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. You never can know. Weirder things have happened, right? All right, let's see here. Hello, Mikey. Good to see you. Voodoo Scratch says, Sal, the old lady is related to old Mother Shipton. She even has the pinnacle on her hat. Yeah, there you go. Two slurps. All right. Shipton, Shipton. I remember they're shipping, too. Uh, dual spectrum electrode, uh, that's it backwards, dual spectrum reality. When are they coming out with the George Floyd I Can't Breathe collection? Maybe the Kill the Pirate Trade Charge. Yeah, I know, the, the, the virtue signaling coins. I, I hear you. Yep. Uh, Fat Vegan says, more worthless currency with a $2 super chat. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. Respect from Alberta, Canada. Thank you, IG. Hi, High effects or this. Good to see you. And aloha to Hawaii. AG, good to see you, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. The super chat does not go to the guy to his wife. If you want to do that, go to that Instagram link. Um, stacking points. That'll go. That, that's, that's where that is going. Yeah. Don't super chat for that. That's a much more worthy cause than my equipment fund, by the way. That's for sure. Mad Stacker says, I almost grabbed it. Couldn't do it. Understandable. Actually, the quality is, is surprisingly nice on it, though. All right. $50 for the next wall. There you go. How many sections of the wall could that buy? Very, very little was my guess. Hmm. All right, the link again. Let me find it. Um, CCT, do you have the link? Let me post it here. Here, I've got it. I'll get it. Here we go. Here's the link again. Thank you, Stacking Points. Very kind of you. Now I'm going to get my boilerplate stuff again. All right, where are we at? Back to the front here. We've got um, Barbara Carbone. All right, here we go. Beautiful coin of metal. The obverse shows three women wearing three different hats depicting the many different eras of the suffrage movement. The artist, Hess, who stated her drawing also depicted three different ethnicities. But those ethnicities were not revealed or mentioned. I could kind of tell. The one, I think, on the lower right is, uh, is black, is a black woman, if I'm not mistaken. Reverse is a ballot box with 2020 being dropped into it. The design of the ballot box represents the Art Deco. That's right. Like you thought the women and children were holding up a stone representing their fight and struggles through the uh, decades, almost 100 years worth, which won them the right to vote. It's awesome. I love what it represents. Thank you for sharing. And you're a woman. That's right. That's right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thanks, Barbara. Here's a slurp in your honor. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. I wouldn't let you donate. 
Well, I would think that would let you donate over there. Stacking points, I'm not sure. That's crazy. Hmm. All right, Corey Morell is here. Good to see you. M. Nice is here. Dale Val, welcome. Hi, Steve is here. Welcome to you guys. Good to see you guys. All right. Con Ezra says, she's almost looks like a man. That was great. Yeah. Dude looks like a lady. Lady looks like a dude. The left-handed shooter says, this set is all about the mint looking woke. I don't see it going up in value or even selling out. Probably not. Although technically this was... Um, uh, an act of Congress created these. Um, so maybe it's Congress that's wanting to look woke. But anyways, Robert Arnold says they find them uh, half their profit in one trade. All right. In one trade only, yeah. It's a slap in the wrist, right? All right, very good. No problem. I knew that slurp was coming, says M. Nice. Yep, here comes another one. Ah, very good. Okay. Okay. Aloha Stacker says, this is a boring coin. The design has much to be desired. The U.S. Mint has had some crappy coins lately. Yes. Okay. And uh, Jonay Tiedemann says, woman suffrage was a Rockefeller scheme. A very bad idea. Go ahead and kill me. Try at least. All right. Let's see. Silver Heist, congrats on your 2020 coin design. All right. Silver Stallion. Says, what's up, everybody? Hello. Peter Shaver says, a woke coin, no thanks. I know. Yep. A lot of people are thinking that. It's a shame we have to go to that when people think that they have to be suspicious of the motives for it. The old hag is what prevented me from buying the series. Yep. So Naya did not like the old lady look on there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Scott Stewart says the downside to the silver coin is four plus grams short of an ounce. That's right. You know, it'd be nice if they would, if they're going to make them three nines fine silver, they might as well make them a full ounce now. If you want to keep them the same size, just make them thicker. They wouldn't have to be that much thicker either. Ah, they might as well go ahead and do it. Might as well do it. Uh, can you name 10 different 10th ounce gold coins? Trying to build an international Troy ounce. Well, you could get the, uh, obviously, the Eagle, the Maple Leaf. You've got the Philharmonic 10th ounce. You've got the Perth Mint uh, Lunar Series 10th ounce. You've got uh, the, um, um, the uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the Libertad 10th ounce. That's six, right? Um, seven. You've got, um, oh, shoot, uh, Sovereign Mint 10th ounces out there. Um, we've got the, uh, Britannia 10th ounce. That's seven, I think. Um, you have got, uh, the, um, oh, shoot, the Krugerand 10th ounce. That's eight. And, boy, I don't know, man. Let's see, another ninth, 10th ounce. That's gonna be tough. Um, anyways, maybe you can think of the other last two, but that'll get you a good start. Hastur of Carcosis, it's always important to assert truth when persistent inaccurate opinion attempts to sway the market. The Federal Reserve note is a claim on government debt obligations. It's literally a debt currency. It's not money as money as payment. The way our current system works is that we pass debt obligations onto each other's payment alternatives, but not the payment itself. It's a 50-year game of hot potato. As far as I can see it, the mission of whole payment is rather than IUU substitutes remain we're the same regardless of a cliff mob decides to sprint over. Gravity persists even for fools. That's true. Good point. But for those of us who hold these dead instruments, for as long as they remain powerful enough for a means of exchange, that is money. We value it as money. Uh, postal delivery slowdowns. I've not experienced any slowdowns on my end. Carlos Danger says, and the country has gone to hell ever since. <laughs> Not just kidding. It's the Federal Reserve's fault. We all know that. There you go. Yes, I know. All right. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we got to be nice to the ladies here. We don't want to, we want to increase our viewership here because we've only got uh, about 8% of the Salivate, Salivation Nation population is female. 
Otherwise, it's one big sausage fest. One big sausage fest. That's right. Okay. Richard Metcalf says, I was thinking of getting a set for my daughter who works to promote women in science and engineering. I think I'll wait. Not too impressed. Understandable. I think the metal looks pretty cool. Uh, comparatively, Grow Mechanic on this video today was number one. Grow Mechanic was fast on the draw as he come back from vacation. All right, let's see here. Okay. Uh, years, says a Grow Mechanic. How long? So he thinks the Gold Rally can last for years. Very good. All right. Fabian T. Whoa, very kind of you indeed. All right, yes, indeed. Um, how about a big kiss to Barbara Car Carbonell and Terry79 and Lou of a big slurp towards equipment? Yes, indeed. Oh, man, I wish I could give them. You wouldn't have to uh, You wouldn't have to pay me to give them a kiss, that's for sure. Good to see both of them. And thank you, Fabian T. Very kind, indeed. And Lou of a big slurp. I'm going to do both. I'm going to do you one solid. Here's a big old slurp as well. Thank you, Fabian. Mm. A big old kiss. The Barbara Carbon, I like that Carbonell and Terry seventy nine. All right, all right. Terry seventy nine is asking a prudent question. What is a sausage fest? Uh, well, uh, every year there is a celebration of of um, pastrami and sausages and meats that are shaped like ding dongs all across the nation, and we celebrate it annually. It's called Sausage Fest. Yes, indeed. All right. Slurp, slurp, says Nat, man. Yes, indeed. Very kind. Look at all that coffee slurping. Yes, indeed. So there is the definition of sausage fest. All right. Voodoo Scratch says turd. All right, turd. All right, he was toyed. Uh, let's see here. King Gold, before it break down molecularly or price-wise? Ah, I think we're talking about price-wise here. Check the markets. Okay, let's see what the markets are doing. We typically don't, don't do this on Tuesday night, but we'll do it near the... Uh, the New York market is closed, but the Asian markets are open, and gold is up just ever so slightly, and uh, silver is down ever so slightly. Not a whole lot of movement here in the Asian markets. The gold to silver ratio is hanging in below 73 there. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Very good. October feast. October feast. Eric, one-tenth ounce ASC maple leaf Britannia kangaroo. Oh, that's right. The kangaroos are 10th ounces as well. Krugerrand, uh, Libertad, Philharmonic, Somalian elephant. That's right. Panda. Well, the panda is, they don't do 10th ounces. They do grams. They do the three gram in lunars. And technically, the lunar is Australian. Uh, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I might be double speaked there, anyways. Ophi Matrix is here. Good to see you. BC in the Matrix correctly says, Sausage Fest celebrated Anal Louis. Anal Louis. Anal Retentive. Lost for words. Don't buy from a pawn shop. Wise words. Don't buy from a, don't sell to a pawn shop either. Lost for words. You're right. Um, uh, you just got to be very careful. Well, if you can, but you just got to be very, very careful. Don't ever sell to a pawn shop. Um, they will rape you sideways from Sunday. No question about that. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Calvin Cooper says, good evening, Sal. Good evening to you, Calvin. Michael Sorrell says, there's no China deal, just more manipulation. All right. Well, I don't know really where the deal was for the China, but we'll see here. All right, very good. All right. Uh, Abby Bella Silverstack popping in with a super chat. Thank you, sir. $36. Yeah, that would about cover an ounce. Uh, very much appreciated, my friend. Actually, that would cover about a half ounce after YouTube takes its fees and taxes. But thank you, sir. Very, very kind of you indeed. You're right. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. Abby Bella Silverstack. Hope you're doing well. Hope the family's doing well, too. Yes, indeed. <sighs> All right. Well, wow, thank you for rude Uncle Sal. Abby, thank you for rude Uncle Let's see here. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Rusty Shackleford says, 
As long as there are negative uh, real interest rates, runaway spending, and money creation, then the answer is in perpetuity. Well, Rusty, um, you know, I get your point on negative real interest rates, but we're not there yet. Um, I think if we do get there, you're right. Uh, but we have runaway spending. We've had that for quite a while, and run and money creation has been going on. And in 2013 through 2017 and 18 and even 19, uh, the prices have gone down for gold. The Micmac 88 says on this older coin from the 2014 Silver High Relief American Wildlife Elephant Coin, gorgeous coin, the Elephant Wildlife Coins are the best looking coins to me. I need to update this collection. I don't have the newest high relief versions of this yet. But yes, indeed. Very, very kind. Yes, Fabian is a, he is a, res he is a, um, um, he is, he is a, cabinet level advisor to the Salvation Nation. That's why he's got his own his own um, emoji, which he has made his avatar. I actually kind of like that. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's, um, these are the two things that he really enjoys. So that's pretty cool. All right, very good. Sal, mom ran away on him. Yes, indeed. Left alone in the basement is what I am now. All right, where are we at now? We've got a Ben Su Gatu personal finance uh, channel. Uh, somehow want this pullback to stay for a while to give us a chance to stack more. I do too. I would love it to go back because I'd like to buy more. It's tough. Even I am buying when it's high, but I'm buying much less when it's high. But Lee Bolton says, really good comment. One, even though you are a number two, don't take a personal. Number twos are everywhere. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Thank you. It's an insult some there, because that means I'm a piece of crap, is what he's telling me. Eric says, it's on the downtrend now. Hope it slumps more, honestly. I do, too. I would like to see it slump more. Hello, Uperman. Good to see you. Dave Stacker. Uh, some of us have to work, I understand, for sure. Welcome, new people. It's good to see you guys. A lot of good folks popping in. Carlos Danger, Silversmith is here. Now, I think it's time we call Sharon. I think that's really what we need to do. She told me she would be here. Last time we tried to call her, she did, wouldn't answer. I'm going to try to get some of these people to answer the phone. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Robert. <sighs> Why would she give me a Google Voice number? Come on, Sharon. Alliance America. Made it to 100 viewers. Nice. Thank you guys for watching. We're calling a scammer right now, a loan scammer. And she is not answering. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave Son a of a motherless goat. What is this one here? Oh, not that one. Let's try this. Where is this one here? Okay. Chris from Circadian Rhythm Funding. Come on, Chris. Make me happy. Make me happy. Sal got signed P somehow for S Ho to get in the adult film industry. Yes. We're calling Chris from Circadian Rhythm Funding. Come on, Chris. Sharon is Karen, that's right. Come on, Chris. Why won't you answer the phone? Man, sleepy time funding, that's right. When does the fun start? As soon as some the of these... has been forwarded to the voicemail for Christian Cruz. No one is available to take your call. At the time... Christian Cruz. All right. When the fun starts when they answer their freaking phones, that's when the fun starts, Terry. Does that answer your question? That's about as blunt as I can get. Hmm. 
I'm trying. Merchant Solutions. I don't know who this is. Jack, maybe? I don't know. Carrot on a stick. That's right. We got a carrot on a stick. Robert S. Elevate. I'm calling to alleviate you. There you go. This one is one of those that's calling and it's not, uh, it's not ringing. It's just going to, it's just ringing in the background. Hello? Please leave your message oh, for 6093. Dang it. Well, no dice there. No luck there. Oh, my gosh. They're ringing uh, up a customer at a convenience store. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's get back here. All right, Silver Heist says, how long can the gold rally last? Thanks for the recommendation. The outcome was a surprise to me until I ran the numbers. That's right, you check out Silver Heist's video on this as I gave him a pretty good shout out there. Yes, indeed. Alien Assets says, good morning from Australia. Good morning, sir. We've got a couple of your fellow countrymen in here right now. Ozzy Alchemist, I think, was here. Release the Kraken. Release the crown, the clowns. Low energy. I'm a low energy. Being low energy. All right. Two is one is here. Good to see you. Two is one. He's got a good channel as well. Check him out. Fat Vegan says, thanks. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. So move on up the comment chain here. That's what we're doing. Captain Ron Howard says, I love seeing articles like this. That just shows me how frightened they are. To pump all that misinformation, deception, and lies. They're running scared. Hip, hip, hurrah. That's why I watch your channel, Sal. I can count on getting that BS that's delivered to the public. Got to keep up with the cabal. Is pumping out. Great update. I think he's being sarcastic. I think Captain Ron Howard's mad at me. Son of a muddleless kraken. That's right, Del Val. DW says China has to keep their import deal due to the flooding of most of their food growing area. Yes. I'm creating islands out there in the South Pacific. Maybe that's to grow, to grow, uh, you know, food. You know, you never know. All is one now. Yes, where's Alan Gold to razz me? He's not here. Mark Schneider says, "I know most will not agree with me. I would like to see prices lower or no rise in the price. If it will still hold, the store of value of inflation is held at bay, and will still be affordable for the working man." Well, and that's where you get the smaller sizes, right? That's the um, that's the key. All right. Let's see here. What are people saying here? Terry seventy nine Donald's hair dye is older than that. Wow. So Native has accused Donald of being a pretty old guy. Being a pretty old guy. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. And Terry is just barely 22, barely legal. I still think she's 79 years old. That's why the number is 79 is. No, I'm kidding. 12 push-ups for 20 U.S. dollar silver. All right. Let's do it. 12 push-ups for Nat Man. Here we go. A push-up challenge has been issued from Nat Man. Here it goes. Making a way for 12 push-ups for Nat Man. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25. Uh, technically, I should not get a, I should not get that $20 because I didn't actually obey him. I did more than, more than 12 there. All right, let's see here. All right, very good. I used to be something before electricity, says Joey, from Seattle. Silver Liner says, fake. Oh, Nat Man. Hey, thank you, my friend. DKK, $10. Thank you, or 10 all right, Kroners. Very cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Number after my name is usually year of birth. That's right. Well, I've, I've asked her about that before. 
She said it wasn't. Maybe she's 97. That's right. Let's hear those hands clapping. I might try that one time. But thank you again, that man. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. Lowell Joey. There you go. Donald, he was he beat you to the fake. That's right. Hmm. Thank you, Nat, man. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. All right. The hardest working man in the silver business. That's right. Exerting physical exercise for for my uh for my uh yeah, for the thing there. Paul D says, some sold some more silver today. 100 ounces at 2700 uh, cost was 1722 plant. That's my second 5% sell. Wow. Okay. Good job, Paul D. Good job. Race you to 100,000 subs. Well, you know, your channel is growing pretty fast. Um, so, you know, you might beat me on that. Let's see here. So, you can even uh, obey Barb when she tells you to bark like a dog. That's right. That's true. That's right. The only thing I will not obey Barbara on is to vote uh, for Joe Biden. Sorry. I just can't do it, Barbara. I apologize. Uh, Paulo Guevo says, So gold and silver in a bubble? Investors should be asking if Tesla, an electric car company, can go from $200 to $2,100. How long can that... Can that last a company that can't make a profit? Investors are pricing in what Tesla will do in 10 years. They can't make profit. So gold bull run has not even started. Seriously, gold is just above its all-time high. And all I hear is gold needs to correct. <clears throat> no, I hear you. It's a good point. And also, <clears throat> Tesla, Elon Musk is partially funded by the government too. So there is that. All right. All right, let's see here. Uh, DW, Sal, at least you have more than half of your watchers giving you a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, let's see what the thumbs up are. Yeah, we've got 60 thumbs up now. Four thumbs down, 99 watching. Very cool. 100 watching now. Thank you, guys. Appreciate those thumbs up. It definitely helps get the traction for the video. Certainly appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Try to keep him in the basement. I, I have to agree with you, Fabian. I'm... I'd rather him just stay in there. Apparently, he's going to. Apparently, he's not going to be doing much traveling. Uh, so, he may stay in his basement. So, we'll see. Cactus Jack says, I diversify. I have bars, too. There you go, Cactus Jack. I hear you. That is a great diversification tool, indeed. All right. Okay. Moving on up. Uh, Ryan Tinney says, about 10 months is how long most gold bar gold." Bull markets last. This is after a top is formed. Well, we may have seen that top. We might be on the downward trend, but who knows? There's still a lot of unknown factors out there. Um, what's up, kids? What's up, uh, Psycho Stacker? Good to see you. El Por Cano. How is the new iPad? The iPad's great. I posted this morning's video with it and the um, the one on the uh, the cancel culture. The coin for the cancel culture for both those. Tell me what you think of the audio. The video quality does seem a little bit nicer on that. So let me know what you think of it. But my last two videos showing coins were using the new iPads. I appreciate that. All right. There you go. All right. Thank you, Native Stacker. Thanks for the payment. We paid him. We sent him some money underneath the table for that. We had. That's right. I've got to buy my viewers. That's right. I've got to buy. I, I, it's extra special for compliments, right? All right, exactly. Thanks, El Porcano. I appreciate your assistance in getting that because you're awesome. Krabby Chris says, this is the kind of stuff they say just before it explodes in price. I've seen it twice before in my lifetime. I'm not going to miss out this time. I'm all in. You know what, Krabby Chris? I think there is something to that, and that's why I'm still buying too because I'm, I'm, I still think I'm pretty bullish on gold. Uh, could be, but you yeah, got to be prepared for it to go the other way. Uh, Terry, it can't, does not help my content. My content will still probably suck, sadly enough. All right, let's see here. Gold Chick says, when trillions of new dollars are pumped into the, into the system, eventually everything will go up. 
just when. That's what we want to know. Gold stays the same. There was no printing. The market would have crashed, and gold would be priceless. That's right. All right. The market, the market is is kind of tepid right now for gold and silver. Silversmith says, I think the uh, rally will last at least a year. Physical is hard to come by, and the COMEX has their largest delivery day coming Friday. Will the COMEX collapse? If so, moonshot. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see some news on that. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Yeah, Silver Liner did not like my previous video. He thought it was a little out there. But hello, Audrey. Good to see you. What's up, man? Yeah, let me see if I can recreate this. She says, Sal, what's up, man? Hi. All right. I'm just not uh, be worth money as I haven't been paid yet. All right. Not been paid yet. GSR is 72.78, so still under that 73, which is good. Sterling Cannabis says they knew how to do at least one thing, not PM coin, so bye bye. All right, that's right. Actually, they, they did have uh, uh, coins A to Z, got a five ounce silver coin, and the one on my thumbnail is a silver coin. All right, very good. Joe Graves says you're in pretty good shape. All right. Well, you, I haven't done 50 push ups in a row. That, that'll be in good shape, and I can't do 50 push ups in a row. But, anyways, I can do 25, though. Uh, try Sharon again. All right, let's try Sharon again. Come on, Sharon. Whoa, Sharon. On and on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, Sharon. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to get my... Um... Oh, I didn't. I didn't go to the Try let me try one more time. Come on, Sharon. You got Google... You got that Google thing. You got to do it. You got to do it. Let's make sure I dial it right. Yep, I did dial it right. Son of a... Incompatible. I don't know what's going on there. a music video. Well, okay, the only way I can do that is uh, the only way to drop a music video is for me to actually put it on my phone and play it and then just let it drop. i got to make sure i got my otter box there so it doesn't break it. All right. Hey, uh, Stacking Stormtrooper is here. Good to see Stacking Stormtrooper. You guys know what that means. Tuesday night is the night. Check out his auction. at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's right. Hey, eat all your fishes here. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you. All right. So check out Stacking Stormtrooper. Always has some very interesting stuff for the auction. Oh, I, my guitar's now out of tune. Oh. Way out of tune. Oh, it's 8 p.m. He moved it up to 8 p.m. That's 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Huh, I know. It's actually, uh, yeah, play some Pantera. Oh, man, shoot. Let me see here. I don't know if that's right. 
Anyways, hello, mystery buyer. 5 p.m. Arizona time. That's right. How many instruments do you play? Um, I play a little bit on the drums, play bass. Not the best at playing guitar, not the best at anything, but a little bit of drums, bass, and a little bit of the skin flute, too. Probably the best at that. Vivian Campbell, oh, I wish, man. Serenade for Barbara, Terry and all you ladies. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let me make sure I'm in tune. Hold on a minute. I wish I knew Kenny Rogers' lady. Let's see here. Ooh, I love the ladies of Salivation Nation. They're all here, and they're a part of the degradation. De degradation. Degradation might be the wrong word. And it really is, that was absurd. I love my ladies of the Salivation Nation. I don't know the rest of the words. I'm thinking of this on the fly. I'm not nearly as good as others that do this. I mean, let me think of something else. This is not good. I've got to. I've got to do better. I've got to do better. Um. Uh, let's see here. I've got to try something better for the for the ladies. Deserve better. Let's see here. Um. I really like Audrey, Barbara Carbone, and yes, Terry. Sometimes Terry gives me a rough time, but others don't, and I'm sublime. Sal's gals are here. Sal's gals are very dear. Donald wants me to do just one push up for him now. But I say, Donald, stop. Don't have yourself a cow. I've got Terry crying, crying in the door. She wants to run out. She wants to score. Oh, Terry hates silver, but she loves old Uncle Sal. She's sick in the head, but she does not have a cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, not a cow. Stacking Stormtrooper. It would be really weird of me to sing about you. You've gone in auction. And yes, you have a clue. You know what you're doing. You do it oh so well. More clips from the office space. Or Fargo. That's what I want to yell. All right, that's it. We bored you enough with that. Let me put this down. I might tinker on a little bit. I need to practice. So I might do a couple of scales. I don't even really know what they are. I could rip scales from my flesh. I could do, I don't know. But let's get back to the front here. I don't know how many viewers we've lost on that, but probably enough to. All right. Fabian T, there he is. 
It says, nice video sale, unusual round for sure. While I do not fancy this one, I rather like and purchased a 2019 Germania Gold one ounce round from the same mint. Wow. And those are rare because I think they have a limited mintage of 100 pieces, if I'm not mistaken, Fabian. Is that right? We may have lost Fabian on that singing, perhaps. Sorry. Uh, Zipper Fixer, thank you. You're very kind. I'm just, uh, man, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Mikey. No, I'm dead. No, I don't have a, I probably have caused many upset stomachs. But thank, thank you, guys. All right. <laughs> you guys are great. Thanks for your. I've melted our faces, that's right. We've melted your faces. Four nines, fine silver knows how to melt the silver. I know how to melt the faces, the ears off the faces. Chris and Numismatic bought my first towler and got it at a great price. Those towlers are 800 fine silver, but very, very cool. Okay, Fabian is still here. Uh, very good. So it is limited to 100 pieces. School of Rock, there you go. School of Rock. All right, Silver Holic. Okay, here we go. Four big players. The banks dumped. 1.6 billion ounces of fake silver on the futures market on the single day this month. You think that doesn't affect price? Um, I'm sure it does. Uh, the price went down a lot that day. They did the same thing a few days later. As a reference, 1.6 billion ounces is almost two years of a normal silver production worldwide. I would, Silverholic, and I know you're tracking some channels that do that. If they have source material, I'd love to see it. Um, uh, because that's something about, you know, how much actually that silver the fake silver in the futures market and how that stuff's being allocated or put out there. It'd be very interesting to see uh, that for sure. Sterling Cannabis says, so where are the mints? I was expecting dark chocolate and a nice chilling mint candy. I feel cheated. 17 earth down. That's right. It's going to push that earth down. Sterling Cannabis does. All right. That's right. There you go. That's right. Fabian's got it. Donald, if your ears are bleeding, you should pay Sal to stop. That's right. Oh my God! Goodness. Andy Benjamin is here, the alter ego of Native Stacker. All right, here we go. Here is another s spammer, and uh, and unfortunately, I would call these WhatsApp numbers, but they never answer. They, for some reason, it doesn't do it. Uh, let me just go over here. This is going to be easier to do this way, as these things, these little comments come and go all the time, and uh, so I'm just going to go over here and block this son of a biscuit. You stupid. Uh, no. Dang it. Why well, won't it do it? Come on, you son of a biscuit. No. Uh, let me just block him. Block. Block, you son of a biscuit. All right, until we get a new currency, if there's another stimulus, it will push gold hard. All right. Very good. Okay. Skeptic 100 says there is too much corruption and ignorance in the system. The executive and legislative branches, along with the private banksters, have a strangled hold on the ignorant, not to mention GLD and the paper tigers, can steer the price any way they wish. Constitutionally, there are only two forms of money. It's not fiat nor is it digital. Thankfully, the rest of the world is buying gold because of what the government's doing, expansion of monetary supply. Education is the key. That's very really true. And apparently now Silver Hollock is telling us that they're putting a lot of fake paper on the markets or dumping a lot of that stuff in the markets. So, yeah. And that is, there is a lot more of those paper contracts out there than the real stuff. As to how much it is, I don't know. It would be, be very interesting to see what that is. Jared W. Three, the first woman to vote in colonial America was Lydia Taft in 1756 at the Massachusetts colony, although that came under British rule. Ah, wow. Okay, interesting. Did not know that. Thanks, Jared W. Three. Hastur says, since I started buying precious metals in the early 90s, I've, I've never really seen it as a bull run. I simply view it as a pressure gauge measuring the consistency of tightening news around the dollar's neck. Sometime soon, there will be a large crack, and it will be all over. I'm sure the lemmings will be running around in circles and a fire and a panic, as they have done throughout history. That's true. I'll pour myself some tea and go sit in the garden. There you go. Well, that's right. It's going to have to be some big crack that forms. By then, it's going to be too late, but I agree. 
All right, so we have 83 thumbs up, 98 watching now. We might be able to get 100 thumbs up. That would be pretty cool. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Moving on up, uh, Rocky Superstar says 69 is a good number. Beat Silver Honda. Yes, it is a good number. Okay, uh, Cowboy Gold, unless you are planning to take profits, it really does not matter much. Buy low, sell high, rinse and repeat. Too many people buying high and selling low. That's true, and I'm guilty as charged for doing that as well. And uh, and that's right. Unless you're planning to take profits, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter how much. And there are ways, he makes a good point, because there are ways to profit on silver and gold selling if you can time it right. If you can flip stuff, especially some of the high premium stuff, and flip it, you, you're doing well. So, yeah, good point there. Thank you. All right. Silverholic is back. Good to see a Silverholic. All right. Let's get back up here because C Mex apparently commented somewhere. And we want to try to get to where that was. But I don't see her comment. 44th. Hi, Sal. Believe it when you see it. There you go. Believe it when you see it. Mind boggling how metals aren't higher, says Brandon Boyer. Yeah. I know. There's some metrics of the economy that are improving. Yep, all right. Let me go, yes, and I did refresh, just as you said that, I guess, right? Second turn trooper, got to go to the nurse's stay. Say it's time to start night, night meds and weigh in. All right, got to go to the nurse's. All right, Uber man, good luck. You work in healthcare. Stay safe out there. Appreciate you. All right, let's see here. Mucho gusto. Very liked from Joey from Seattle. Thank you, Joey. He is the man keeping Seattle safe. Joey is the man. Drain the swamp. How long can it last? Infinity, Sal. And you know this drop. And give me 10. There you go. Exactly right. It can last to infinity. Four nines find silver. I'm going to go live in a little, go live in a little while and pour something in silver. Have you got any requests? Oh, man. That's cool, man. Wow. Yes. What can you pour? Um, How about a kangaroo? Yeah, since you're in Australia, it'd be cool to have a kangaroo. You pour a, a rhino, a hippo. I'm sorry, you didn't. Did you pour a rhino? Or was that Jeff Flake? I can't remember which one it was. So let's see here. All right. Oh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Eric, I invested in so What is this? Or is that spam? Are you spamming us, Eric, with a little C? So, for all, like, I will try to find the article about the 1.6 million ounces in the channel that talks about the Mark uh, Arcadia Economics. Okay, I've heard of them, but I not necessarily. I know they did an interview with a, what's that guy's name that passed away, um, but even he could not uh, really give much proof. Or, you know, I mean, he made some good points, but there was really no, I don't know, as far as manipulation. But yeah, I'd be very interested to see that. Thank you. Let's see here. Captain Canada, the dollar is currency, not money. Actually, Captain Canada, look at the link at the very end of this video. I make the argument that the dollar is actually money, believe it or not. Um, but watch the link at the very end screen of that video to see what you think. Uh, the, like Barb is going to be jealous. 69 like, all right. I'm waiting to see if he posts one more time to decide on Eric. Poor way of telling on this photo. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks. Eric is on the other Eric to see if he is a stinking spam bot or spammer. We're going to give him one more chance, this Eric guy. Uh, as it looks like it's a spam, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll give him one more chance here. All right. He's a right hand to Lando Calrissian. Calrissian, that's right. Kind of Calrissian, Calrissian. Well, I'm really behind on my Lando. I remember, I know what you're talking about, Lando. All right, where are we at? Silver Liner, a good video and well delivered. Bad jobs report will change everything. Yes, that's true. It sure will. It sure will. 
aluminum stacker. The gold and silver physical rally can last until within minutes. There's nothing available with each bullion dealer. I think sound accurate, Sal. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's true. If there's if there's nothing available, it'll go skyrocket high. Uh, stacking social group. Remember the old days when you had me and a couple of other people on as guests, but had us read your comments for you as you ate cookies. I didn't know any better. I was just using you. That's right. And I don't have the the uh, the the ability to hang out to do the hangout thing anymore. Else, or else I would do that. Lando Calrissian. That's it. Lando Calrissian. Thank you. Calrissian. 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 That's right. Lando Calrissian. I knew I was wrong. Son of a mother I just, I just got lost a few points from Stacking Soul Trooper. I'm probably not going to hear the end of this on his live stream tonight. He might even take my mispronunciation of it and put it in. And it's one of those things that somebody fails to snipe. An auction product said, you fail just like Salivate Metal in his pronunciation of Lando Calrissian. Son of a motherless goat in heat. Uh, Resim80, are you Steve Smith, A.K. Red Green? Uh, people think so, and I now know, I've heard, I've seen a little snippet of him. So they think I am. Let me see here. Let's see. I am not. Williams Golden Diamond says, I'm white and Native American and am from a fourth generation Redskins fan and no one I know or have ever encountered or even heard of a Native American deem it racist. In fact, I've heard a lot to the contrary. This is on the will this going to be the latest victim of cancel culture. Um, it's basically young liberals making those decisions or at least getting the ball rolling. A lot of those subjects at Trader Joe's Mexican food. Trader Joe's was changed due to a 17-year-old white kid if I'm not mistaken, but okay, for the sake of argument, I do get the term Redskin was initially a derogatory term, so I get the argument of the name, but the logo. Well, I don't think so. I think the Redskin was actually, they referred to themselves as Redskins, I think. Uh, a depiction of a proud Native chief is not racist in the least. In fact, a Native chief actually posed for the Redskins logo. That's right. All right. Yep. It's the woke culture. It's the woke culture. Read his, read faster. I try to read faster. Obey your master. You must read faster. Can you pronounce uh, Leicestershire, um, uh, Leicestershire, Leicestershire, CCT, I think. Is that right? Leicestershire, 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 Leicestershire. One group of Minnesota, all I know is that precious metals are retracting. For how long? I don't know. I feel October can be magical. Ooh, yes, indeed. The October surprise. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, Investor Pertinuer, high celibate metal, new subscriber. You, um, AOTTP Yankee and DYDS are my favorite stacker channels. Well, thank you, uh, Investor Pertinuer. I appreciate that so much. Honored to have you as a, uh, a viewer and a subscriber. Appreciate that very much. And I'm sure the other guys do as well. Leicestershire. Leicestershire. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why did they spell it like that, though? Man, Anarchy Stacker plays in Dream Theater. Man, I wish I knew. Pull me under. Those classic ones. Uh, let me see here. I know stuff, a little bit of, from the Awake album. Let's see here. E 
Emu. Ozzy Alchemist, Emu. Emu. Man, what are the Dream Theater? Man, I wish I knew more Dream Theater. More Dream Theater is tough to play, but... Oh, wait, here's one. Let me see here. Let me see here. I think that's one. That's off of um, the album, um, let's see here, Octavarian, I think. Oh, man. It's um, um, uh, Prophecy of War, I think. You recognize that at all? Does that sound somewhat familiar? All right, let's see here. Okay. BC in the Matrix says, I need a coin for constipation suffering. All right, well, let's see here. Well, I'm all lackadaisical about trying to think of one for that. Sorry. All right. National Anthem, let's see here. That's about, yeah, most, most of the other stuff I don't really know. Complete songs, but I'm kind of missing a few notes on that one. But anyways, let's see here. Shep Proudfoot, my good friend Buzz Lightyear, once said to infinity and beyond. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay. Anarchy Stacker is familiar with that, that album. Very cool. Dove Season. Yes, thank you. That was brutal. Let's see here. Play it like you mean it. That's right. Explosives to do Hendrix, that's for sure. Pull Me Under was the official Silver Market song. There you go, that's right, Silverholic, that's right, good one. Dream Theater, Pull Me Under is the official Silver Market song. Pull Me Under, if you really believe in manipulation, that's right. Because I'm not afraid. Okay, Dave the Dude, two second, one day, one year, 20 years. All right, down to the second. He's got it. Dave the Dude says how long will it last. He's got it down there. Very good. Ah. Mr. Sullivan Meadow after this finger play. Slurp. Okay, here we go. Here, slurping for it. That's right. I've been reluctant on the slurps or been remiss on the slurps. Here we go. I'm putting the dime on the jukebox, baby. Chris the numismatic. Yes, indeed. That's right.
290 says Vogus. All right. He was like number 290 on that order video about silver getting to $27 an ounce. And look at that. Amazing. Looking back just a few weeks ago, silver was at 27 and gold was at 2050. Crazy times that was. Bark at the Moon. Man, man, I wish I knew Bark at the Moon. Some more Ozzy. That would be cool. Man, I don't know it. I'm sorry, my friend. I wish I knew it. I do need to practice on my stuff, though. I've not pre-ordered the 2020 Libertad. Because um, uh, I'm going to wait till a, a reputable dealer gets them in stock. Uh, you know, or they do pre-orders. I think you can order them on eBay, but I'm going to wait. Um, and, but I would definitely want to get one, though, for sure. Randy Rhodes, tough to duplicate, that's for sure. Manuel Campbell says, I'm responding to your live stream verbally in a comment at this very moment. Nice, Manuel. Well, I'm responding to your thingamajob right here on the live stream. El Porcano, massive camera improvement, details up the wazoo. Cool, all right. So you can tell the difference there. Very cool, awesome. Thank you, sir, El Porcano. Appreciate that. Let's see here. Ron McCord says, Bonhomi, French pronounced bon, Bonami, expressing a disposition of cheerful friendliness. Well, thank you, Ron McCord. Appreciate that. I wonder what that meant. All right. Bonhomi, cheerful friendliness, geniality. There you go. Very good. Bon, bonumi, Bonumi. $4,000 dream. Stacking Stormtrooper, here's my comment. This other guy, I got a notification on the other screen. Uh, go and watch it and hear it for yourself. This guy is telling him I'm responding to his comment on a live stream. All he's got to do is come here and check it out, Mad Stacker. Let's see here. Rocky Rose. Hey, strong strong man, silver and gold. I'm just getting here. Can I get a coffee slurp? Yes, you can. Here we go. Here's one for strong man, silver and gold. In your honor, sir. Here it is. Vogus is here. Vogus is out. Vogus, thanks for popping in, my friend. All right. Time for me to head out, too. Site CCT's got to head out as well. Killer of Giants. Yeah, I don't know that one either. I don't know, really know a lot of cover songs, unfortunately. But have a good night, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Appreciate you. Yes, indeed. All right. Crazy Train, official song in the live chat. Yes, indeed. All right, so we got one from Stacking Storm Trooper. Here's my comment. He's going on live soon. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna actually leave now because we can prepare for that. He's probably already gone. Stacking Storm Trooper, everybody. Okay, Walking Dead. I hope it falls 50 to 75 percent to load up at this time. All right. Yes, indeed, that'd be nice. Green going on says it doesn't matter if gold goes up or down. You can't get any. You can get pro uh, paper promises after you have paid. You know, look them up in the wedding room. How can it go down when there isn't enough to supply demand? All right. Well, you'd be surprised. You'd be very surprised. People never, never test the. Um, they never test those paper markets. So yeah, we don't have that. We haven't had Kalonic Stacker doing an MMA matchup. So we have Shep Proudfoot here. John Schaefer versus Randy Rhodes. I'm going to go with Randy Rhodes. Better guitar player. John Schaefer's a great guy, though. Um, awesome player. 
but he's not really that much of a lead player. 95 likes. Cool. Thanks, Fabian. We got 95 likes. Can we get a can we get set 1,927 likes before the end of this live stream in the next two minutes? Uh, is that possible? Is that asking too much, even though we only have 83 viewers? Can we get 100 likes? I'll do. I'll settle for that. Somebody call a friend for five more likes. Yes, indeed. Can we do that? Play the blues and see. Let's see here. Okay, let me try that. I'm not really good at blues, uh, Chris, the numismatic, but I'm going to try it. All right, thank you guys. We got 105 likes and we dropped some of the thumbs down. Thank you guys. All right. Strongman Silver and Gold is in the slurp as I read your comment. Salivate, I stack gold too. Gold ain't going anywhere, uh, but up in the long run, especially with all this fiat money creation and inflation coming down the pike. All right. In the long run. That's right. That's the key. You're right. Exactly right. Fabian, some Johnny Lee Hooker. Oh, man, I don't know Johnny Lee Hooker. I'm sorry. Have a nice evening, Matt, man. Matt, man, thank you so much for being here, my friend. Need more cowbell. That's right, Chef Proudfoot. And Herb Ash is here. Good to see you. Dove season, 91. He was born in 1991. I know he wishes he was. I know. Aloha Stacker says the reset is coming, and so is Fed coin. Yep. They've been talking about the Fed coin for a while, so yes, indeed. All right, guys. Native Stacker is back. John Mayer. Now, I don't know any John Mayer either. I'm sorry, Fabian. He did a uh, really sweet cover of um, of uh, Every Rose Has a Storm, though. It's pretty cool. All right. All right, guys. I think I've noodled around enough. I need to learn how to play this darn thing. I don't know scales or any of this theories or anything like that. <clears throat> and I've messed too many notes up. Thanks for putting up with me, guys, tonight. We had a good time. A multitude of gratitude. Thanks again. Keep your feet in the stars and keep reaching for the ground and we will see you on Friday night. Thank you.